I'm here with Richard Barrett, a great expert in culture and values, and we'll talk about the national values. I'm Wagner Casimiro, and this is the Espresso Tree. Richard, let's get straight to the point. Have we grown in terms of culture and values since 2010? What are the main differences that you have found? So in 2010, we mapped the values of the people of Brazil and we did it again this year. And there have been a few changes uh, in the personal values and particularly in the desired cultural values. So what we noticed about the personal values, there have been a shift in priorities. Um, in 2010, uh, we had hope. People wanted hope. That tells me that they were discouraged. So they, must, uh, they wanted hope was one of the top 10 values. Uh, health was one of their top personal values, and uh, justice too. Now, those are, the, are still the priorities, but they've fallen out of the top 10, and into the top 10 have come some new values. One of them is trust, one of them is courage, and one of them is continuous learning. For me, that's a positive sign, because it's saying that the people of Brazil are not playing victim so much now, because they if, you have, if courage is one of your values, it means you're going to overcome your fears, for example. And I think this is key right now because um, the situation in terms of the, the uh, current culture uh, has got worse. Uh, we, have some, we measure something called cultural entropy. It's the degree of dysfunction in the nation, and that's gone up about 10%. And so um, the situation in Brazil in 2017 is, is worse than it was in 2010. I mean, considerably, like uh, there were like 18, 15 to 18% more votes for these limiting values, uh, uh, corruption, uh, violence, etc. in 2017. Things are getting worse. But people, on the other hand, uh, you know, they're building their courage to do something about it. And so this is positive for me. This is a positive sign. Uh, I think we have to, or we, I think the people of Brazil have to stop playing victim and start being responsible and accountable and say, I can do something about this. And what are the changes in the expected values? By expected values, I think we mean, we're talking about the desired cultural values. And what's at the top of the list now in terms of the desired cultural values are health. I think the Zika virus problem put a lot of spotlight on health and how important. So that's number one priority for people in Brazil. Um, the second, second priority is peace. They, they, they don't want to live in a violent world because they feel unsafe. And so we have to tackle those issues around, um, particularly a, a large proportion of people living in the favelas, they don't feel safe. And so we need to tackle that issue. And then people want to feel uh, secure about their future. So we have to change the business environment in order to pr provide more jobs for people and help people feel secure about their future. These are, these are some of the changes uh, that have happened. And, um, but what's important to remember is that you know, things have been getting worse. And of course, everybody knows that. But what we've been able to do is we've been able to measure it. And so we know exactly how it's getting worse. And we can measure exactly what people want. And as I said, it's really they want to be able to meet their survival and safety needs, you know, the health, safety in terms of getting rid of violence, and they want security. So survival, safety, security is the first three things that everybody worries about. And this is, these are issues in Brazil right now. What is the impact in the business environment? There's been an increase in corruption. Okay, that's one of the things that about 15 to 18% increase in corruption, that's what people see. Corruption is not good for uh, anybody uh, because it, it brings everything down to a lower level. So that is the first thing that has to be tackled in order to improve the business environment. Um, I think it's also important for the business leaders to recognize that if they want to have successful companies, they have to take care of their employees. It's important to recognize, it's important for them to recognize they need to take care of their employees and their, particularly their survival, safety and security needs. So caring about your employees is very important if you want to have a successful organization because if you care about employees, they will care about you. And that means you, that is the leader, 
that is the organization, they feel committed towards the organization, they'll be loyal. And so having leaders try to make people live more safe and secure, I think is very important. I think it's time for the business leaders to stand up and, and, and start making a, a contribution to changing the society of Brazil because the way it's been going, leaving it to the politicians has not been working too well. Um, that's my observation as an outside observer. Could you talk a little more about continuous learning? Well, it's interesting that continuous learning is kind of inbuilt into most people. They, they want to grow and develop. Everybody wants to grow and develop. Wagner, do you want to grow and develop? Sure. <laughs> yeah, of course you do. Everybody wants to grow and develop. Um, but, but you're right, it needs resources. And so when companies recognize that their employees want to grow and develop, I mean, we're, not, we're talking about any level, when they want to grow and develop, providing resources to help employees grow and develop is good for business. And it's good for employees too. Okay, thank you. Hi, I'm here with Richard Barrett, a great expert in culture and, and, and we are talk about the Brazilian national values. I'm here. No. Okay, let me Please, do it. Okay. Okay. Are you ready? Ah. I'm here with Wagner, <laughs> a great expert on interviewing, and we're going to talk about the Brazilian national values assessment. Got it? <laughs> Got it. <laughs> we use this. We use this. <laughs>